All right, guys. So welcome to another video, and this is the Mi 11X running the latest MIUI 13 beta. And guess what? The amount of apps that you see over here, they are Google applications, and there is a special reason behind that. Because remember, from the day MIUI 13 was launched, I have been saying that we don't have monet customization. The dynamic theming system implemented by Android 12 was missing. Well, guess what? It is here and that is what we're going to talk about in today's short video. So before we get into the details, well, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything. And it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1700 members over there. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So we will talk about the dynamic theming system, but this is not a video only about that. We also have some things to talk about the latest beta. So if you go to my device and you go to all specifications, you will see that this is of course Android version 12. Who would have guessed that, right? This is Android version 12 based on an MIUI 13 and it's doing a good job. We do have the January security patch and this is a China beta we are talking about. That is the reason you see this RAM extension thing over here. You have this incorrect uh, octa-core CPU frequency mentioned over here. So a lot of things going right and wrong in the latest beta. If you then go to settings and you know you go to the display section, you will see that you still have MEMC and the refresh rate control options and stuff like that missing because this is an Indian device that is the Mi 11X and this ROM is for the Chinese variant you know you have to root and then you have to fix it there's a video on that you can go ahead and watch that but apart from this if you go to other options over here in this beta you know there's not much that has changed more or less everything remains the same including the battery backup and stuff you do get a performance toggle though I have been on this ROM for almost 29 hours. We've been using the screen. We've been using the benchmarks and all the other things. So let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers. And then we will talk about the Monet customization. So first things first, let's talk about the CPU throttle test. Now, as you can see over here, the average score was 214, 120 GIPS and the CPU throttle to 89% of its max performance. And over here, again, you know, similar, over here, 220, 436 GIPS and the CPU throttle to 94% of its max performance. Now understand on 12.5.6 or 12.5.7 enhanced, this device would give you an average of 240,000. So the betas on Android 12 are still not there when it comes to the performance numbers. But let's go here. Let's talk about the N22 benchmark numbers, shall we? We have 683,602. So this is a little high and this is a decent performance compared to that. The battery percentage dropped by 3% and the temperature increased by 7.3 degrees Celsius. Now moving on, we have one more benchmark to talk about that is Geekbench. So let's go to the individual scores. 991 single core, 3321 multi-core. So these are good scores as far as benchmarks are concerned. But understand, without root, I'm not able to use 120 hertz. I really hope Xiaomi can fix it in the near future wherein all the devices globally which have the same hardware technically should be able to utilize all the features so you know that aside the performance is good MIA 13 is doing a great job you do have this app vault to the left if you pinch and you go to the widgets you do have your Android 12 widgets doing a great job over here as you can see they look really really nice even if you go to these weather widgets they are looking really really neat so MIUI 13 as a whole is doing a great job, but Xiaomi needs to figure out a way to allow us global users to get the maximum out of their latest beta. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, Material U. So earlier what you used to happen is in Monet UI, there was no implementation on from Xiaomi Z. So for example, if I were to select a pink wallpaper, so select set both. And if I checked anything, you know, any MIUI system application, you will see I don't have any customization. It's just plain white. But they have started giving you that customization by apps like these. As you can see. There you go. So you have a complete pink background because the wallpaper is pink. As you can see over here. Moving on Gmail. Pink accents over here as well. And calculator. You can see this pink theming system going on. Clock you have this pink theming system. Now let's quickly go ahead and change the wallpaper over here. Say, let's go back to green, right? Let's set on both. 
and let's see here clock green calculator green now trust me it might might not be a really really big thing for you guys for a lot of you but monet customization coming to miui betas is a good thing because the moment they start implementing it to their system applications dialer the other things like security and all those things it will make the whole ui look much much better it will give you the fresh feel of android 12 and that is what i have been rooting for since the time android 12 was released for you know multiple devices and then these skins had adopted that so all in all right direction is what xiaomi is going in the latest beta doesn't have any major changes but does have decent performance let me know in the comment section what do you think about that video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye